Did you ever allow yourself a downtime? Um, really, the only downtime was just right after it happened. Like going to the locker room, uh, maybe had like five, ten minutes just to you know take it all in. But you know, after that, I flushed it and just knew I had a journey ahead of me. So, Who, who'd you rely on doing that? Uh, like my family, uh, players in here, coaches, all reaching out to me and just telling me they got my back or whatever. So that that was pretty helpful. J. Lou says the goal is to get away from Britt when you guys are in the middle of those processes. <laughs> nah, Britt, Britt was there uh, with me every day. So without Britt, man, uh, I thank him a lot for my recovery. What is it about him that drives you guys or yeah. brings the faith? Just uh, the fact that he can relate to us, uh, very personable, you know, wants to get to know you. Um, loves people who, you know, uh, work hard and um, he'll, he'll get your back. He's got your back to anything, so. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, appreciate you. you. Scar, is that the constant reminder of, of why you got that big break? Yeah, yep. Yeah, new, new scars, um, new battle wounds. So, uh, nah, I mean, it's, it's just a reminder of you know, what I've been through and uh, just how I bounce back from it. So. Is it tough just to, to get off, move on from that? Because I remember. Pollard said when he got hurt, he was just mad he couldn't even stand up. Yeah. And then he was mad that I can't help the team. Yeah, no, I definitely went through those emotions uh, as well. Um, especially, you know, with we had more games le left mm -hmm. to play in the season, and I wanted to be out there on the field with my, with my boys. So, uh, yeah, it hurt, but, you know, I, I just took it day by day and knew that um, the faster I can come back from it, the quicker I can come back and uh, be with my team. So. Did you surprise yourself that you're going to be ready week one? Mm. <laughs> Surprise, not not just because I know the work I put in. Uh, I'm just I'm just happy it all came to fruition. So, so you changed your hair too. Yeah, yeah, I'm going <laughs> out a little bit, a little bit. Probably get it braided here soon, but yeah. Right. So. You, going back to the rehab, just what allowed you to tackle it so well and, and make it back so fast? Yeah, just uh, having a good mindset and just being determined and um, just really just taking it day by day, like I've been saying, just making. Today the best day could be, and tomorrow the best day that could be. So it's really just taking it day by day, um, doing everything I can to you know come back as fast as possible. When you think about other guys in this locker room who've been through some serious mm -hmm. injuries, can you lean on a number? Four? Oh, 100 percent. Uh, <laughs> uh, MG was with me a lot. He uh, made sure I was keeping my mentals good and uh, telling me uh, how the process was going to go and. Um, telling me that hey, everything's gonna be all right. So MG was a big one. Um, of course, Dak. Uh, I was right there with TP uh, alongside him. So it's just, I have a lot of great, you know, support in this in this locker room. So it's been really helpful. You think about your next step. What does that look like on the field? Yeah, just keep keep uh, keep on growing. Um, keep adding on to what I've been doing the past couple of years. So and for this group, obviously there's some depth to be filled out right yep. now you know, on the roster. But what can the starting five provide? Uh, yeah, tons of experience, um, leadership, um, all that, uh, continuity. You know, it's, it's the same five as last year. So hopefully, you just keep keep building on what, what we've been doing. What do you think about just the idea of you guys all stay healthy? How good that, that starting five is? Oh man, that's that's the main thing is us staying healthy. Uh, no, we 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 keep that in account every day. Um, us five healthy, man. The sky's the limit. So Mike McCarthy's talked to us a bunch about. When you get that five together, how the, you get that continuity, and, and you can't really oh, yeah. replicate that unless you're playing it. Yep. How have you noticed that throughout your playing career? Yeah, uh, really, because I my mean, O line five is one. You know what I'm saying? So um, the more we can all get together and you know have the same language and know what's going on, and the better we can be. How much have you noticed that growth being next to Zach throughout your career? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, Zach's you know one of the greatest guards ever. He's super smart. Uh, they're very consistent on the field, so I, mean, I want to I want to model my game after him and uh, Big Tyrant over there. So they're just huge role models for me. I try to soak up all the knowledge I can from them, and uh, they've been great help so far. So. We all know that football is a physical game, but what did you say you learned mentally after your injury? What has this journey mentally meant to you? Yeah, uh, really just being mentally tough. Um, uh, that's really all it comes down to. Uh, just being more mentally tough, really. Yeah.